Hey everybody, happy Wine Wednesday. Kevin and Robin here uh, with some winter warmers because the weather's turning a little bit for you. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about opening this white this morning and... I should uh, start there before it gets too cold. I got the corkscrew out now. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking we go red today. What do you think? Okay. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll uh, start on that while you uh, talk to the good people about what we got going on this week. Alrighty, so this week on the Tasting Bar, we are featuring a couple of wines from Loire Valley, from Alliance to Loire, which is um, actually a little bit of a cooperative. So often we find ourselves talking more about small producers, family producers, but I don't want you to be scared of cooperatives because they're not always a bad thing. And in this particular case, it really actually bands together a lot of smaller family producers who wouldn't otherwise be able to get into the market. So it really is a good thing. Yeah, and if you're not familiar with, with, with what a co-op is, basically you have a lot of small growers in the Loire. So they're, they're farmers effectively and they don't have their own facility to, to make wine. So what they do is they bring their grapes down to a sort of centralized area where they're uh, where the wines are made in sort of commercial quantities because they all don't have really enough to, to make wine. So uh, there's a lot of fragmentation in the Loire Valley, so you have a lot of small family growers. And there's examples where you have really good, high quality cooperatives. Um, these guys are always winning awards for their wines. Uh, they do a fantastic job. And what, they, what they're able to do that sometimes some of the small family domains can't do is they hit price points, which absolutely are kind of hard to touch. So. Yeah. You get a chance here to try really high quality uh, Cabernet Franc and Chenin Blanc uh, at prices, you know, at, you know, sub twenty-five dollars, which really is not going to happen with a Domain bottled wine because they're just going to have all those extra expenses that go in. These guys don't have the expense of owning the land; mm -hmm. they're just taking in the fruit, they're making the wine. They've got a fantastic winemaker. I mean, this this guy here, if it looks familiar because sure. you probably had it before um, if you're watching this. That's been, we've sold this wine for over 20 years. It's been our best-selling white wine in a number of those years. Mm -hmm. It's a wine that just never disappoints. It's, uh, it's an example of Chenin Blanc that really shows like just that minerality, that purity, that freshness, that crispness. It's, it's that kind of wine that you, know, you feel like drinking you know, nine, nine times out of 10 and it, it just never really disappoints. I think the word freshness is really key in all of the wines that we're showcasing here. Yeah. The Loire Valley is one of the most northern wine regions uh, within France especially, but just kind of across the board for wine regions. It's a lot cooler of a climate, but really what that translates to always is freshness and maintaining that brightness and acidity level. In a world where things just seem to be getting a little warmer all the time and grapes are getting Grapes are getting riper, and we're getting higher alcohol wines. And if you're looking for things that really are going to show terroir and just freshness and brightness and be great food wines, mm -hmm. um, I mean, if you like Bordeaux and those style of flavors, these are wines that are really going to appeal to you. I think Cabernet Franc is going to be the next really big grape variety for a lot of people as prices for Bordeaux and Pinot Noir skyrocket. We have this opportunity now to drink Cabernet Franc from single vineyard spots often at less ridiculous price points, but they show that real, you know, that terroir. They really have, Cabernet Franc is great at showing places. And when you line up uh, producers like Lombert and their individual uh, vineyards that they do, you can really see the difference of each of those sites shown through Cabernet Franc. And I think it's fascinating. And I love that it's affordable because, you know, the, the Burgundy uh, the Burgundy prices have kind of left me in the dust a little bit. So I'm uh, I'm liking this, uh, this next sort of, you know, adventure in, uh, in drinking wines from specific single vineyards, but just through Cab Franc. And I love all of these bottles of Cab Franc as well. We actually have a killer selection of Cab Franc in store. It's not just these three right yeah. now. Like I'd arguably say we're, you know, top in the city right now for an assortment of Cab Franc. We gotta be. <laughs> um, but from a personal perspective, I was always a little bit scared of Cab Franc because I had had some coming from cooler years or different times where it didn't get quite ripe enough and it gives off this little like subtle greenness and herbaceousness. But these guys have all done a fantastic job. They're softer, they're rounder. Across the board, Cab Franc has this aroma of raspberries and like freshness and fruit and just a little more elegance than you'd really anticipate. Yeah, the wines aren't super high in acid. They're fresh, they're bright, but they're not tart. Mm -hmm. you, get, you get the spice and sort of like that green tobacco, but you don't get those green pepper aromas. Yeah which I really like. And I, and I think, you know, I had this with, uh, coincidentally, last night with dinner, mm -hmm. and it was such a great food wine. It really kind of freshens up your palate in between bites. It's got really just great freshness to it. It's got this really nice kind of core raspberry fruit. 
beautiful spices. It sort of changes the whole time when you're drinking it, it evolves. It's such a like complex wine for the money. So the pack this week is really worth picking up if you wanna dip your toe into the Cab Franc world. I can't think of a better way to do it. And you know, you definitely wanna pop by and try these guys because these are really, I think, some of the best buys in the store yeah. and some of the most interesting wines really in the market right now. For sure. Um, and then all of these are a little bit different too. So I mean, the first two are coming from the Alliance Lore Cooperative that we were talking about. This one where they're buying grapes from a few different farmers and producing. This one they're bottling from one specific grower, which kind of starts to branch into um, that single estate style. And then Arnold Lombard, who is on his own making fantastic wine, and we are going to talk endlessly about him next week. Uh, so yeah. get ready. <laughs> Big week for Lombard. We got a dinner. We got a tasting at the university. Both are sold out. And. Uh, it's gonna be fun uh, tasting those next week because the new wines from him are absolute showstoppers. So good week to dip your uh, dip your toe in with Cab Franc yeah. and then get into the Lombard wines a bit more next week. But, and uh, speaking of tastings, there's yeah. lots of other events coming up as well. We have a new website this week, so we've got those all integrated yeah. there if you hop <clears throat> online and check them out. Um, or you can go straight on to Eventbrite if you're looking for something to do early February. Maybe it's date night, maybe it's a night out with the girls. On February 10th, we have our Perfect Pairings Festival here, so you actually get to try different bites of food that we've curated for each station um, to see kind of how food and wines play together. There's about 25 wines open, so lots of things to try. Really exciting, fun night that way. Tickets are online, and we currently are doing 15% off on those tickets as well, so you can use promo code nice. MARKET15. All right, sounds good. Anything else you want to throw in this week? Or I don't know, I just rambled it. on, I'm good. Yeah, good, a lot of information there for you. So come in, taste some, uh, taste some new Cab Francs. Uh, it's gonna be a fun, uh, fun weekend to come taste wine. So we hope to see you. Thanks.